Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be listening to Colorado's Mighty Chemist Hunted. This was Decibel Magazine's Album of the Year 2016. It's a fucking doom masterpiece. And I'm not just saying that. Holy fuck. Like, just, just go listen to this. Um, on 20 Bucks Spin Records, phenomenal phenomenal record artwork everything I mean anything that has a wizard fight going on yeah you probably need it and it's just the catchiest doom like besides early Paul Bearer it's like that's what it reminds me of like the first Paul Bearer but like way way more catchy and heavier so yeah, Chemist Hunted, check that out. And uh, I'm actually re-reviewing this um, album because somehow, I don't know where it went, it disappeared from my fucking videos. But since both of these bands are playing together at Decibel Metal and Beer Fest, I decided to review Philadelphia's Crip Sermon. Fuck yes, this is seriously one of my favorite albums in my collection just total killer traditional doom with members from so many other talented bands it's insane you have Enrique from Ashen Cult which was a killer black metal band uh, you have members of Hive Lords Woe Unrest just so much good shit comes out of this but this is pretty much a love letter to Candlemas, uh, Trouble, just the whole traditional doom scene is, it's just killer. And like, imagine like Black Sabbath era Dio on vocals, it's just, it's fucking phenomenal. And I can't get over, like still, I've had this record for almost a year now and I just, I love every single thing about it on Dark Descent Records. Even the band's logo is just fucking cool as shit. Like, I, I love that logo. And this again is just, it's so fucking, the production's great, the riffs are just, oh my god, you feel your hair grow, it's, it's so fucking good, and everybody does their job great. Like, probably my favorite track on here is the Master's Bouquet. It's just probably one of the greatest traditional doom tracks written in a very long time like I can't really think of anybody who's really doing the traditional doom thing that's like a newer band that really caught my attention other than Crip Sermon and if you picked up the new decibel and you have a subscription and listen to their fucking mayhem cover I might put the link below to the uh SoundCloud link, I think. It's either that or Bandcamp. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so I'll, I'll look that up and put the link in the description below. But it's pretty much the only new thing I've heard from Crip Sermon since I picked this uh, record up. Last time I saw them live, too, a year ago. That's my own fault. They played a couple Philly shows, and I, I missed out on it. And uh, they play New York more than they play Philly. And it's weird, like, I feel like, especially in the BMX community, like, we don't really leave Philly too much. It's weird. It's, it's definitely hard to explain, but anyways, I, I tend to not go to shows in New York, even though I really want to. But this record, it's... Man, from the first time I just, like, heard a track, like just you know checking the band out because my buddy was like hey check out this doom project like i've been working on and i was like holy fuck this rules and crip sermon is brooks wilson on vocals steve jansen on lead and rhythm guitars james lipsowski rhythm guitars will meller bass and enrique i can't pronounce your last name enrique i'm sorry but fucking drummer so good and uh brooks wilson holy shit this kid 
well, this this man has so much talent right here. He's in Unrest as well, but he does vocals on this. He also painted this beautiful fucking painting. Like, holy shit, there's so much cool stuff in there. Like, there's Pazu, Pazuzu, whatever his name is, that demon from The Exorcist. There's all sorts of cool stuff in here. You just gotta look real close. Like a skull mountain over here by this fucking castle and this, oh, so fucking good, man. And you kind of have the, uh, like, like biblical, you know, imagery that goes along with a lot of traditional doom, but it's just done in a way that it's, it's catchy, it's heavy as fuck. The riffs, though, are what makes this album, along with the drumming, the vocals, everything's a complete fucking package when it comes to traditional doom metal, and it's so goddamn good, like, I wish more people, like, they're, they're going to, this, like, Crip Sermon's playing, uh, that Psycho Fest in Nevada with, a uh, fucking, like, King Diamond and stuff, like, I'm so proud of these guys, they make Philadelphia look and sound awesome, fuck yeah guys, and again, like I was saying, this is just killer shit, uh, out of the Garden was recorded during the late summer of 2014. This recording was engineered and produced by author Risk at Creep Records and 409 House am among other locations. Cover painting by Brooks Wilson. Liner notes and layout by Eric Mushell and Brooks Wilson. Featuring prints by Gustav Dorr, band photo by Scott Kenyad. And yeah, they just thank, uh, their family, friends, all that shit. Contact CryptSermon at gmail.com. But the lyrics are so fucking good. Like, I'll read the lyrics to uh, Byzantium. Ceaseless searching, following empty skies, the land of cedar and sword. Unfounded home lies, endless wandering, the sand and stone, it never ends, our home. The land of cedar and sword awaits us to make amends. Byzantium. And I'll read another track because that was pretty quick. I'll read the title track, Out of the Garden. And that's once... <laughs> there once was a time when we thought we knew the answers. Before the rules were carved in stone. In those dark days, before we held the fire, we never knew we were alone. Awakened in time, the serpent held the answers. That fruit was rotten to the core. No more dark days as the angel holds the sword high. Still the fire never lands below. We're out of the garden now. We've never been so far from home. We're out of the garden now. Forever now we roam. Waiting to be called back, not a whisper nor a cry, ever onward, endless searching, no answers as to why. There is no repentance, unholy consequence, we can never atone for our crimes, fly away, the demons know my name. Yeah, killer fucking shit, like I said. And... Like, if you're a fan of, let's say, especially Tales of Creation era Candlemas, holy fuck, you have no excuse not to uh, go and buy this, like, immediately, right now, just seriously. <laughs> Again, stop listening to me blabber about how awesome this record is, and go fucking listen to it for yourself. Make your own decision up, and pick it the fuck up. This is seriously... If you're a fan of doom metal, this is essential. Like, I know I say that a lot too, and I, I'm not being biased because I have friends in this band. This is seriously amazing. And do you want to be the cool kid on your block? That's like, yeah, I knew about Crypt Sermon before you did. Nah, just fucking killer stuff right here. And just, it doesn't really get much better right now when it comes to traditional doom. Not like, you know, I don't know what to even call chemists. I mean, it's doom, but it's so catchy and fun to listen to. Like, 
most doom is, you know, doom and gloom. It's it's like really kind of a bummer sometimes. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love bands like Asander, Loss, fucking Graves at Sea, Samo France, or however you pronounce that name. Uh, like Bell Witch, Grief. Like, don't even get me started. You know I love Funeral Doom and fucking just like, especially Finnish Death, like Death Doom. That's like my favorite type of music like next to uh probably all like old school death metal that's probably my my second favorite genre of sub genres but this is just it's so good and fierce i'm sorry i just love this fucking record again this is you get to see both these bands if you go to decibels metal and beer fest I paid for my ticket. Like, I'm not, you know, getting in for free or anything. Like, I'm just fucking so happy to be able to see this lineup that I get to see. And just the fact that, oh man, these two bands are playing alone is amazing. But you have Sleep, Pig Destroyer, Agoraphobic Nosebleed, Panopticon. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not even done. Withered. There's so many fucking bands. It just... If you like metal and you live on the East Coast, seriously, if you're not going to Maryland Death Fest, go to... I know there's not that many tickets left. If it's... I don't even know. It might be sold out. But if you have $84, that will get you a two-day music pass, not an all-you-can-drink pass. That's like $124. That's not... See, I don't drink anymore, so... I want to go and just see some of my favorite bands over the course of two days, including the pre-show of Artificial Brain. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear that new album, and that's the record release show. But, uh, yeah, as soon as this record starts off with, like, Temple Doors, you know what you're in for, and you're gonna love it, especially if you're into... If you like your Doom old school, then yeah, like, that's the thing with, like, Chemist, I think. Because I haven't, I don't get it, like, this one album of the year in Decibel, but I have never seen anyone really talk about this record on these YouTube, like, channels. Dude, this is some of the, like, listen to this. It's fucking brilliant. I mean, it's like... It's seriously, it's so fucking good. I know it's not as like crushing and as heavy as, you know, some of the other Doom out there. This is just fun to listen to. Like, and sometimes you just need that. Like, I know like Bell Witch is fucking just so goddamn heavy. And same thing with like Disembowelment, like they're gothing. But sometimes you just need that Doom that puts a smile on your face. That's why I like Paul Bearer. I haven't heard the new album, and I heard it's really good, but I haven't heard it yet. But I'm not a big fan when bands get more progressive, and I heard that's what they did, but I'll give it a listen. I did like the fucking EP, Fear, uh, Fury and Flames or whatever, Fear and Fury, I forget what the fuck it was called. But anyways, I'm sorry, I got off topic. Crip Sermon's Out of the Garden on Dark Descent Records. Like I said, if you like your Doom old school, you have no excuse not to love this because it's fucking amazing. Seriously. Everything about it, especially if you're going to pick up the vinyl. Like, I feel like this was meant to be listened to on, on vinyl considering the packaging. And just, it, it just sounds amazing and I can't kiss its ass enough. But also, this band live is fucking phenomenal so that's what i'm saying like if you're going to decibel metal and beer fest make sure you see crypt sermon set and go raid their merch table because i'm sure that there's still some copies of this and hopefully you know they play some new material or have like a rehearsal like demo available because i do need some more crypt sermon in my life that mayhem cover was so sick Go check that out as well. Hopefully I'll put the link below. But yeah. Crip Sermon out of the garden. If you're a fan of early candle mass. Black Sabbath era Dio. You need that record on Dark Descent. 
Thanks for watching. Infernal Hails.